Welcome to a quick tutorial on where to get Cinebench R20 and how to properly benchmark your system. It's actually pretty simple, just follow along. You have two different ways of downloading Cinebench. The very first one is going through the Microsoft App Store. The second one is just simply going through the developer's website, which is Max on Computer. And then you select Cinebench R20, go to download directly from Maxon, and then there is Cinebench R20 down here. And you can select between the macOS version and the Windows 7 or higher version and simply click download. I've linked both of the options in the description of this video. In case you downloaded the file, so didn't use the Microsoft Store, you simply have to go to your download folder and unzip the archive you just downloaded. That might take a little while because of the amount of files, not their actual size. Once you're done unzipping, simply move to the unzip location and launch Cinebench by double clicking the .exe file. When Cinebench has loaded for the very first time, you're presented with the software license agreement, which you can simply accept. Whether you read it or not is fully up to you, of course. After that it's pretty simple, you have a run option right on the top, that is by default the multi-core test it's going to run. In addition you can see your system specs here in case you forgot them and you have the ranking. The ranking is a bit skewed in my estimation because it shows very high tier systems at the very top, we'll get to more reliable benchmarks later on. In case you want to distinguish between single and multi-core benchmarks, you can go to file and then go to advanced benchmarks and then you can select the single core or the multi-core but multi-core is not listed here so this is multi-core you can also run both benchmarks in sequence then you just go to file and run all selected tests you can of course also untick the tests let's just say for the sake of this video that I want to measure the multi-core CPU I simply click on run the test sets itself up and once the setup is finished, you can see that the image is going to be rendered. It takes a little while depending on the speed of your CPU and the cores and threads your CPU has to render the whole image, so I'm just gonna skip until the end. When Cinebench has finished rendering the image, you will get an overall score, which in my case is for this run 1356 points. Why is that? Because I'm recording this video and this takes up a certain amount of CPU power. So the pre-test that I already had run is 1766 points for my system, which is a rather old i7-4790K. I have this system for around five and a half years. so the score is not that high. Obviously, the more cores you have in your system, the better your multi-core score is going to be. In case you're wondering how your system stacks up against more ordinary systems, you can simply Google Cinebench R20 benchmark list and select one of the results that sticks out to you. I recommend CPU Monkey. You can see the single core results. So the highest right now is the Core i9-10900KF. You can also, when you select benchmarks, go to the multi-core and then you can see that the Threadripper 3990X with its 64 cores is at the top of the list. You can see where your system ranks when you just search for it. So Control F and then in my case the 4790K is up to roughly 1982 points. To sum it up, Cinebench R20 is a perfect way to measure your system, especially the single and multi-core power of your CPU. It's easy to download, you don't even have to install it and simply press one or two buttons and sit back and wait for the results.